Hey, we're heading to Ohio. Uh, hopped on the turnpike this morning and uh, stopped at a rest stop. Filling up with some diesel, grabbed some snacks, and should be there around 12, 12.30 or something like that. Seven or eight hours till dark, so hit two or three spots this evening. We've got all day tomorrow, and then about half a day on Tuesday. We should cover some ground this weekend. Turkeys! See that? What? <laughs> First couple spots we're hitting here are spots that we scouted before. Getting ready to start chugging here. We're fired up. Let's go. Day one, postseason, spring scouting. So this scrape's still torn up. Wendell has a camera right there. A lot of daylight. A lot of does, a lot of daylight. Oh! Oh my goodness. January 3rd, and that's a giant. <laughs> Bro, daylight. Yeah. 8.55 in the morning. January 3rd. There's a good front shot. You get a just for reference, this camera is like 105 yards off the road, and we got like three different shooters on it, and almost every picture was daylight, so you don't have to be hiking two miles back in to see deer. Three shooters on since gun season, and in November, this there was probably three other shooters on here. Just gotta find them pockets. enough batteries oh yeah plenty of replacement stuff should well i'm Four probably pulling, pulling two of them i'll probably just leave the cell camera out this man lost his gopro already we found it though i found it we're good just kicked up a deer all by itself Pretty it's a big. buck had a big body. This is about right where we kicked him. He was like right over there. We were up there. Ran up that way. Camera died in the end of November. There he is. It's a good eight point. Good that's that same one. <laughs> Ooh, I hunted. I walked this bottom and accessed um, a ridge a couple hundred yards from here, November 7th. Here's pictures of me checking this camera. That night after dark, this giant big frame, nine or ten point. And there's a daylight the next day. And the next day he came in. The next morning. Stud. Hit the scrape. We just came like 300 yards down the bottom. Ah. And there's freaking scrapes. <laughs> ah! There's scrapes everywhere down here. Definitely put up a couple more cameras in the bottom. I don't know, I'll trust these things. March 2nd, when was that? Two weeks ago? Yeah, three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Had his horns on. Both of them? Yeah. A picture, honestly, on my foot. I can pull it up on the video so they can see it better. Ain't no way that's a Moultrie camera. <laughs> it would be dead if it was a Moultrie. <laughs> this thing's on video mode. So we got like 50 videos. Pull them up on the screen. Oh, look at that! Three days after oh. I. <laughs> A lot of the bucks that are down this bottom, we have on camera. Way up on the saddle as well. Put this straight. Put some schmutz on there. Ready to rock. Hung the camera a little higher because they were picking that thing out. Pretty excited about this spot. Pretty much what we're trying to do this year is just make it easy on us, easier on ourselves. 
we were running about 30, 35 trail cameras last year. And it's too much to keep up with. Especially in these hills. We waste a lot of time just running to check cameras. And we're just trying to find these pockets that are closer to the road that still grow big deer. So here's my cell camera. I think it died in like November. Yank this thing, head back to the truck. Probably noticed already, but been doing all uh, most of our filming with our GoPros on this scouting trip. Our goal is to kind of make it more of a vlog style instead of like a cinematic video. We want to make it more like informative and dive into more detail instead of just running b-roll and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys are learning some stuff here. I know we're still learning a lot. There's so much low stuff here though. Got a picture with a little bit of leaves on it. I know. You want to get right on that creek thing. That's what I'm thinking. We can get back in there. Well then we might as well shoot that screen. Only 20 yards. I know, but hecka. No, it's there's a lane. Okay, so how we're planning on accessing this. With a west wind, the wind will be blowing down this hollow right here. We're gonna access up right here in this little creek bottom. Pop up literally a yard off the creek. Get up into that tree there. We're gonna have a camera right here facing. One scrape right there and the other scrape is back up there. So we won't have to cross any of these trails to check the camera either. And we got a tree picked out. Okay. Here's another angle to help you picture a little more. First scrapes here, second scrapes there. Access from the bottom there. Camera is right up there. And our tree to hunt is back by the creek right there. Pop a card in here. Go on our way. Alrighty. spot pretty much decided that the only good the best area back there is that bottom there's hunter there's hunters there's hunters up on the ridges of that wide spot yeah. and slappers down in the bottom so we we pulled all the cameras that were up high back there and just kept them down in the bottom so now we're going to uh where are we going oh we're going to where me and ben hunted late season and set two cameras up Late season. Muzzleloader. Muzzle loader. I filmed for Colin back here in late season muzzleloader in January. We threw up a couple cameras. So the last hour or so of daylight we have, we're gonna rip back here and check them. See how this goes. <laughs> now you. That is how you do it. 
Look at that dust cloud, bro. You're going so fast, I skipped. A whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of nothing. A lot of blanks. Get this apparatus off of this tree. <laughs> Cords everywhere. There's the other camera. Scrape over there. Last camera check of the day. Cooling the feet off. Freaking hungry. No new pictures. July 2023 is when it stopped. <laughs> Looks like he just pulled out of the dirt. <laughs> he was buried in the leaves. Some guy lost his stand. That's it for the day. That ridge right there, that's when we walked out. Way out. We're gonna go meet up with Wendell, get some supper, sack. Fired up. Let's go. Oh, my hand mops. It's out here. <laughs> it's like at least 18 degrees. No, I don't 70 know. this it? afternoon. 35 degrees, maybe? Yeah. Rock slide, look out. It's supposed to be 70 later. No. Hey, two. Um, back in a spot where Wendell hunted a little bit last year. This is one of the first. Was the first spot we ever scouted in Ohio, right? But we're gonna pick it apart a little bit more because there's seems like there's a lot of deer in here, early season and late season. So we're gonna make a big loop, hit some new new areas back in here, and hopefully find some sheds. Who designed these things? Should be, should be in jail. <laughs> Get it? Nope. Wasted half hour trying to get them things out. Please. Oh, How's your knife? Yeah. Amazon special. Prepared. Never, you can't go wrong with Amazon. Haven't been videoing much, but we're pretty much just scouting out an area that we've scouted 10 times already. We can't figure out where they're bedding. But there's deer on these cameras like crazy. Don't know where they're coming from. 150, but we don't know where they're bedding. <laughs> on this camera, going back and forth. The woods is wide open. You can see hundreds of yards. Even in fall, October, you can see far. Not brushy. Nope, but there's 150s. <laughs> Random. Four-wheeler tracks through public. And a stolen car. No card. What do these people come to? <laughs> Just steal every card we see. And we wouldn't even be hunting. <laughs> Doing. <laughs> Just came to this camera and the card was stolen. And this is a spot that I came in here. This was back in November. And walked up this ridge and hunted right up here. And that's where I had an encounter with the big eight point um, the first day I was in here. So we're gonna go up here and yeah, I'll just illustrate where, we, where I was set up and where he came from. I walked up from this camera, it was in the dark, came up to this ridge, and the field is down there. So I figured I'd set up here so I could see this bottom, anything that comes from the field, back to bedding. This tree right here, it's jacked up right in this tree, and once I was up in the tree, I looked down and saw that rub right there. About 8 o'clock, seeing a rat coming through the woods here, and he was in the bottom, and grabbed my rattling antlers and routed him up the 60 yards. But he looked up the ridge, he didn't see any deer up here. So he turned around and walked off. Never got a shot at him. But it was a good encounter. Right from there. Scouting out a new spot here. Walking in a bottom that has three, what looks like three really good hubs on the map. It's like in the general area where I killed mine last year. It's like up over the ridge. Coming in from a different bottom though. 
So hopefully we can find some good sign in these hubs here. About three quarter mile to the end of the bottom. So start stomping. Just walked up on this shed here. Got good bases. We're heading back to the hub. It's right here. On the board. Yo, we got mad. Last year's. Squirrels. Yeah. Good bases though. Yeah. Good buck. He just walked up on another one, 100 yards from where he found his. Look at that eye guard. Go. Right. Yo. Yo. That thing's wacky. Check the eye guard out. It's in the bottom that you killed your buck, like yeah. up farther. I had a cell cam on scrape. This it's was this guy. 23, yeah, last October. No way. He's a young buck. He's he's probably three and a half, but yeah, good potential. Should maybe put it. All right, we're heading in for the last spot of the evening. Um, this is a new spot. There was a clear cut that Ben picked out uh, on the map. We're gonna walk down the edge of it and it leads to this big bottom. Looks pretty good, looks pretty flat down there. So, Let's see what we can find. Maybe slap up a couple more cameras. Snapping pictures. Yep, yep. <laughs> I was just walking this bench, but I dropped down, or I dropped down to this second bench here. And I was looking for sheds along here, and here's a old chewed up one but yeah it looks really good back here these benches were tore up with sign a ton of scrapes and yeah something about these these logging roads in the clear cut that seem like they just get tore up in the rut and that's where we have good luck finding sheds too seems like even in late season they just cruise these these benches i don't know just to check Check scrapes and whatever, huh? Found a hub scrape down in this bottom. These logging roads dump down right into this hub. The clear cut's up here. And there's this torn up scrape right down the bottom here. So we're gonna put up a camera here and keep walking this bottom out. Wendell found a shed up on one of them logging roads. Loses it. Old one. The wind's gonna work out for this spot too. Predominant west winds are gonna be blowing down the hollow this way. The scrapes right here. So the clear cuts up here, they're gonna be bedded up there. And we'll drop down from the road on this side. Drop straight down the point. Hunt on the back side of the scrape. They'll come down the logging road. Five yards. Lop. They'll blow. Never know them there. Back to the area where we were last night. Next hollow over. Another good clear. Another good clear cut back here. So we're gonna walk down the point, check out a hub, and walk some logging roads, try to find some sheds. And then clear we'll, cuts. Yep. That's where it's at. Up, yep, scrape right off the road. You can see the truck still. Good spot. It's gonna be a big buck back here. Yep. Promise. Boom. Ah, another boom. Not much sign down that bottom. We're uh, hopped up on a bench here, heading back toward the road. There was a decent hub scrape down off that point by the clear cut, but so we'll probably put a camera up there. But that's about it. Another cell camera deployed. Right on this logging road. That's the bottom that we were just scouting out. This uh, logging road leads down to the bottom. And there's another logging road that drops down to the bottom here. So I'll get them coming right up this logging road. 
Up, 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 up. Let's go. Yep, yep. Back at the truck. Foggy lines. Got pretty wet on the last day here, but that's gonna wrap it up for the video. Um, yeah, we got a lot of good intel again. We always love coming out spring scouting. If you don't do it, do it. You can learn a lot. What do you yep. say? Just get your feet out in the woods. Just walk around. You'll be surprised how much you learn. Yep. <laughs>